Hello, this is your daily devotion for Thursday, October 14, and our reading this morning comes to us from Matthew, the 7th chapter, beginning with the 24th verse. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority, and not as their teachers of the law. These words conclude the Sermon on the Mount, and they build on what we talked about yesterday that these words are to be followed and lived if we expect to see God's kingdom. Jesus yesterday spoke of all those who would be surprised on the last day because they had indeed cast out demons and performed miracles in his name, but he did not know them. Who are these people? They are the ones who heard his words but did not put them into action. Even if they don't put his words into action, the name of Jesus still has tremendous power. Power so much that even a fool can call upon it and have it work. But the wise one is the one who not merely wants to grab onto Jesus' power and Jesus' glory, but actually takes his words into heart, who humbles himself or herself to the point that they realize that they are nobody. There is no particular reason why God should save them. It is because of this that such persons are lifted up and given great power and given access to God's glory and eternal life. Because they realize that the only reason God has for saving them is love. They humble themselves to the point of realizing there is nothing inside themselves which is worthy of salvation but for the fact that God loves them. I want you to be among those people. Take Jesus' words to heart. Don't think too highly of yourself. Don't think too lowly of yourself either. That is also dangerous and a sin against God. But especially be careful not to get too high and mighty, particularly with other people. And understand that we all have a lifetime of work ahead of us to measure up to the standards God has created. Anyone who thinks that their own work is mostly completed is deluding themselves and needs to re-examine his or her heart. But those who understand that the work will never be finished in an ironic twist will be the only ones who ever actually finish the work because they are willing to let God do the rebuilding rather than trying to do it themselves. Learn from this. This is why the Sermon on the Mount is, I believe, the most important piece of Jesus' teaching and something that every Christian should revisit often to understand just what it is that God expects of us. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of your Sermon on the Mount. We love you and we love it. We pray that we will live up to the standards you have set for us, knowing that we might inevitably fall short. But our continual striving will keep us in your good graces. And so we ask that we would never give up, even when we are discouraged but that we would also constantly be trying to excel in learning your word and doing it. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon.